This video was recorded on the morning of Friday, October 15th during a drive from my house in Northeast Minneapolis to my company's office in Edina, Minnesota. Since my house is geographically wedged in between the two nearest freeways, I-35 and I-94, I take an interesting route when going into the office that most map applications do not suggest. I have found this route to be the most efficient, however, it does present some interesting challenges from a navigation point of view. As a result, I have come up with a list of waypoints that I manually enter into my car's navigation at various points along the journey to ensure it leverages the specific route. This particular route includes several twists and turns, some tight turns, rush hour traffic levels, poor road surfaces, and little to no lane markings, making it a great test for FSD beta. So with all that said, let's go for a drive and see how FSD beta performs. After getting a decent amount of seat time with FSD beta on unmarked city streets, I have noticed that it always tries to center the car in the middle of the road, especially when there is little to no traffic. This specific road does not have a lot of parked cars on either side, so my preference would be for the car to instead stay closer to the curb on the right. As with all feedback regarding FSD beta, I always submit autopilot snapshots followed up by a detailed email to ensure these type of minor issues get addressed in future builds. Remember that this is a beta and bugs are expected and that should surprise no one.
After driving this route a few times, I have noticed the car mistakes blemishes on the road surface here as lane markings and attempts to get super close to the curb on the right. We unfortunately have a lot of roads like this in Minnesota, especially in the Twin Cities, so I'm hopeful we will see this addressed in future FSD beta builds. I took over here to ensure the car follows the desired route as I forgot to enter the next waypoint into my car's navigation sooner. This is completely user error on my part and not the fault of FSD beta. Here you will see the car approach an intersection where it needs to make a right turn so we can enter I-94 East. Even with the traffic light green and turning yellow, the car shaves off way too much speed as I think it was nervous about the upcoming right turn being too tight. To help it along, I applied a little bit of throttle input here to get the car to proceed with the turn which it executes well. The transition from I-394 West to Highway 100 South is tricky in that you have to first enter a very busy cloverleaf style entrance ramp and then stay to the left so you can eventually enter Highway 100 South. Because Autopilot is a bit too cautious here, I had to intervene so that the car would make the entrance. This stretch also has very poor lane markings once you get to the top and so you will really see the car struggle here as it gets confused on where it should go.
When it comes time to properly merge onto Highway 100 South, the car nearly merges across two lanes before catching itself. While this sort of behavior is not optimal, these scenarios are handled by the older autopilot software stack and should see many improvements once Tesla switches over to using the FSD beta stack for both city and highway driving. The car does a great job of exiting the highway and staying to the right to ensure it can make the first turn. With that said, the car stops a bit too far back, making the turn take a bit more time than necessary. I apply a bit of throttle here to get the car to proceed with the turn, however because the car accelerates too quickly, we approach a suddenly turning car which requires me to intervene by applying some brake input. That concludes this morning drive from my house to my company's office. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one.